Good morning, everyone. For today's devotion, I will start by singing Shepherd Me, O God. I think this is a very beautiful song. Um, and it also just reminds us that um, Jesus is our shepherd and we are his flock. And as long as we follow him um, for our lives um, and do good deeds and live in his way, our lives will be fulfilled. And um, living a godly life is living a fulfilled life. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today I'd like to focus your attention on another of Jesus' I am statements. In John chapter 10, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. My sheep know my, know my voice and they hear it and they follow me. Voices. Voices are one of the most distinctive things about us, one of the most personal things about us. And recognizing the Lord's voice is crucial because there are so many other voices that compete for our attention. But it's so important to be able to distinguish the Lord's voice from every other voice because he's the one who loves us best and he knows what's best for us and he'll do what's best. Voices are distinctive. I remember very vividly a children's sermon back in our last parish in New Mexico. My parents lived f uh, with us for a year uh, between the time they moved from California to assisted living in Albuquerque. 
And so my parents were with us every Sunday in worship. And uh, one Sunday, Good Shepherd Sunday, uh, for the children's message, um, one of our members um, did a children's sermon on this passage about knowing the Lord's voice. And so he had me stand in the front of the sanctuary facing the altar with my back to the congregation. And then he asked different people in the congregation to say, uh, good morning, Bruce. And he probably picked three or four or five different people. And he said, one of the people that I've chosen is your mother, and I want to know if you can recognize her voice. And I thought, oh my gosh, will I be able to do this? Will I recognize her voice? And so I heard about three or four people, and I knew that wasn't her. And then I heard my mother say, good morning, Bruce. And it was so easy. It was unmistakable. I mean, I knew without a shadow of a doubt, of course, that's my mother's voice. I pray that I can do the same with the Lord, that I can recognize his voice amidst all the other voices around us, especially now. Because he says in that passage that he will lead us out and we will find pasture. He will lead us to a good pasture, that he will lead us to what nourishes us and feeds us and strengthens us. And so that's one of my prayers these days, is to be able to listen for the Lord's voice, to know it, to recognize it, and to follow where he leads. Because he is the good shepherd, the one who loves us so much that he laid down his life for us. And so I pray for you and for me that we hear him, that we follow him, and that we trust him, that he will lead us to what is best for us. Now I invite you to pray with me. We'll have a few moments of silence, and that'll lead us in prayer and in the Lord's Prayer. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are the Good Shepherd, that you call us by name, and that you invite us to follow you. We pray that you give us the grace to recognize your voice, to follow you, trusting that you will lead us to good pasture, that you will do what you know is best for us. Give us the grace to follow you in these uh, uncertain times when needs are so great. We pray, Lord, for all those who are directly affected by the pandemic. We pray that you bless and heal and comfort and strengthen and lead as only you can. We also pray for all those whom we know and love, who are in need of our prayers, whom we now name in our hearts before you. Lord, all these things and everything else that is on our minds and hearts, everything else that we should pray for, we gather up and give to you in the prayer that you yourself have taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. And deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now as you go through this day, may Christ go with you. May he go before you to show you the way, beside you to befriend you, beneath you to uphold you, behind you to defend you, 
above you to watch over, and within you to give you his peace and the blessing of the almighty and most merciful God, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you this day and always. Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Go in the peace of the risen Christ. You are God's beloved. Thanks be to God.